hi guys welcome back to another video today i'm gonna be doing a day in my life video today's travel day i'm heading to the airport maybe around 1 1 30 it's almost 5 30 now in the morning i have a few things that i need to do i need to do laundry i need to pack i need to shoot one or two videos and i need to go get wax and get my nails done so i have a full morning ahead of me i'm gonna try to do my shooting of my videos while I do my laundry so stay tuned and don't forget to like a comment and subscribe to the channel okay so what what I'm gonna do right now is separate my clothes I usually wash all my clothes that I wear to work together so work clothes will go in there first all the colored work clothes and then I'll add like, um, then I'll do one with my clothes that I wear around the house and towels and stuff. So I separate them first before I start. I usually use these laundry bags for stuff that I think are very delicate, like this um, cardigan that I have. I'll use um, a, a laundry bag to put it in. Um, and stuff like tights and pantyhose. So, and this, something like this, I'll definitely put it in a laundry bag. So I'm gonna hang it right here until I find a laundry bag. I don't want it to get pulled on anything. Because I don't have personal laundry inside my apartment. I have a shared unit. Well, shared laundry services. So I'll have to go downstairs, outside and downstairs to put them in the laundry. Into the washer and the dryer. So these are whites. I'm going to wash the whites separately. This will definitely need a bag. doing this until I've separated all of them. At this point, my knees are killing me and I might need to get something to sit up. <laughs> See, it is very early and the sun hasn't even come up yet. <laughs> but I'm gonna go to the laundry room. This is more than I thought. It's way more clothes than I thought. Oh, let will just get to the bottom. the other one and I can keep track of the machines because they have a QR code and an app, and an app. so I can keep track of them to see what I need to put um, fabric softener in. drive for an hour so I'll just come back and okay guys so now we're at the pack with me part of my video <laughs> and I need to start packing because it is after seven and my wax appointment is at nine so I need to start getting into it the good thing about it is I kind of know what I want to bring so I'll just like pull them out so this I this one I'm bringing this Abercrombie set I'm definitely bringing that so I'm gonna count them down by outfit. So one outfit. I'm gonna bring this pants with this top and my dress. I absolutely love this dress. This is from Abercrombie. This is from H&M. I bought this last summer. I still haven't worn it. So I'm gonna bring this and I'll wear this to church. Actually, not H&M, I'm sorry. This is from Zara. See, tag is still attached. I bought this last summer I think I even did a video I like the video yeah but I'll wear this to church so this is my Sunday outfit 
I'll bring this farm rail rumper. I love it. Don't know which day I'm gonna wear it, but I'll bring this. This dress from Abercrombie. I also did this in another video. I showcased this in another video, so I'll bring this one. I'm gonna get, get a pair of white sandals. So I think I'll have the white sandals to wear with this. So definitely bring in this. Um, I also bought this outfit. Well, this had a matching top from Zara last year and I still haven't worn it yet. And I had bought this top to go with it also from Zara, but this, this had a matching top. I went with this top instead. I still haven't worn it. I don't know what occasion I'll find to wear it, but I'm gonna bring it. This dress is from Zara as well. I bought this last fall or maybe earlier this year. Yeah, can't remember. So I, I love this dress. I can't wait to wear it. Absolutely love this dress. And I'll bring my pull-in belt to wear around it. I'm gonna wear this to the airport. So this is gonna be my airport outfit. This with the this pants. This is from American Eagle. I think they might still have this, but I want to wear something comfy and this is like a very soft material. So this is my airport outfit. So I'll put that over there and I'm going to wear long sleeve. I might need to bring a, a scarf or a jacket because the plane gets very, very cold. The next thing I want to bring is, I might bring this. I wore this once. It's a pants from Zara. Wore it once with this. This from Abercrombie wore it once, absolutely love it. So I'll bring this, yeah, I'll bring this outfit. I'll bring that. And I want to bring this pants. It's a little bit shorter, it's my Abercrombie pants. It's shorter because at the time I didn't think about returning it and getting it long. So this, I kinda wanna bring it with this to make it somewhat a little dressed up. If not, I can bring my bodysuit that I actually bought to wear with it. So I'm gonna bring both. I'm not sure if I'll actually wear this farm reel top. I'm still searching for the right bottom to go with it. So that's another outfit. And then this farm reel dress I wanna bring. It's, you know, it's scream summer. I just don't know what color shoes to wear with it i mean i could wear it with the tan shoes and i don't know i'll bring it i'm gonna bring it and figure it out after i might find something that can go with it and what else do i want to bring oh i'm bringing this dress from zara this could be a nice little date night dress absolutely love this dress has a nice little spit it's a linen dress so i'll bring this see i'm bringing a lot of dresses and pants i go from one extreme to the next dresses pants i don't really have any shorts packed this is a set that i bought from abercrombie last year i'll wear it to, again this year so it's the oldest set it's a skirt set i love this skirt set and i forgot how many outfits i'm at now guys i think i have too many outfits so the dress i wore on my birthday i'm definitely bringing this okay so let's start putting stuff in packing cubes and see how this packing cube situation works out. Before I start putting anything in packing cubes, I should probably go ahead and get my shoes and my sandals out and my bags that I'm bringing. So I'm bringing my coach bag that you've seen in another unboxing. I'll bring this, so I'll put it back in this. And I'm going to bring my pulling bag with the belt, the pulling belt for my dresses or some of my dresses. I'll put this inside. YSL pouch. I call it this thing. I'll bring this for like my little dinner, dinner dates. I am going to bring my Valentino Cake sandals. So these are gonna go in my carry-on. Everything that's valuable to me goes in my carry-on. Anything I'm willing to lose can go in the check luggage. Yeah. So I'll bring my Valentino Cake sandals. I'll also 
bring my Hermes sandals. These are my Tory Burch sneakers. I'm bringing these because I have a plan to wear it with this. I think it's gonna look cute with this because I'm gonna be walking around a lot, so I need this. I'm tempted to bring, I'm gonna wear another sneakers to the airport so then I'll have two pairs of sneakers. So, so far, it's three pairs of shoes, three bags. I'm doing good, believe me, I've done worse. I am bringing these, I bought these um, black heel sandals from DSW. Now listen to the thing about it. I These are $49.99, they're called Kelly and Katie, $49.99, and they're um, um, $30 coupon that DSW gave me, and then I had a $10. So I technically paid $9.99 for this. After tax, it was $10.69. Um, these are so comfy. They're more comfortable than my Valentino Kate sandals, and my Valentino Kate sandals are comfy, but Valentino Kate sandals are a little bit higher. These, I'm definitely gonna be wearing a lot during the day. So you'll see me with, if you notice, the color scheme for my shoes will more than likely be, with my shoes and bags are these. I'm gonna be using this a lot. And my, um, my Hermes sandals, which are these. Yeah, I'll wear them a lot because they can go with almost everything. Once I have this bag and this, this is the reason why I bought this color bag and that color sandal, because I know I can wear it with a lot of things. I'll get a lot of wear out of it. So if you're gonna buy something that's a little pricey, buy something you know you're gonna use a lot. But these, $10, yeah, they're going to Europe. I need any other pairs of shoes. I don't know yet. If anything, I'm probably gonna bring <laughs> my Sam Edelman sandals. I'm trying to think. But mostly, if most, almost everything is gonna go with the, with the Hermes sandals and this one that I bought from DSW. Yeah. I don't think, and then anything I'm gonna wear at night will definitely go with my Valentino Kate sandals. So I don't think I really need to bring any more shoes. I'm wearing a sneakers, I'm bringing another sneaker, and I'm really looking like, uh, maybe I'll bring my Aldo heels, my little gold Aldo heels, and I'll feel accomplished that I haven't packed too much. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, plus the one I'm wearing, seven. Did I do it right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And the one I'll wear will make seven. Yeah, I'm proud of myself. Usually I, I go crazy with my shoes. So I'm doing better. <laughs> I'm doing a lot better. <clears throat> All right. Now we can try to put some stuff in packing cubes. Oh, let me get my bag. My baby sheet. My compression socks.
guys so i forgot to pack a jacket i forgot that when i'm going to london i need to pack a jacket because it gets chilly for no reason so i'm bringing my denim jacket um let's button this properly i have this color and i have a white one so i'm gonna bring the white one as well but i think this one can hopefully go with everything if not you might see me buying a blazer or oh and i also added my spanx tights to it with this black t-shirt just something a little bit um i've had this blouse from car car lugger belt for a bit and i haven't worn it so i'm bringing it along and yeah, it's just another option. So I'll bring my jacket and I'll pack the white one as well. Yeah, just in case, just in case guys, just in case. I absolutely need it for like, if I'm out and I get, and I get chilly. Okay, so finally finished washing and I'm gonna put away the clothes right now, right away before I continue my packing so that I can have the underwears and everything I need and the additional clothing that I need. So I'll just fold the stuff and put them away. Okay, so I finished putting away my wash clothes, most of them anyway, and I pack my underwear bag. So I'm gonna see if I can compress it now. I think I can. There's enough space to do it. Be nice and compress, and this has enough underwear to last me like two, three weeks, I would say, because I rolled them up very small and I put enough bras in there, and socks, and undershirt, then yeah. No, I'll just press it down. Let's see. Yeah. Nice. So I'll put this in here. I'm gonna move some stuff over to my check luggage. These are some of my toiletries that I started bringing out, but I still gotta wait it all. Um, I can put this over here. This stuff will need a like. jacket I'm gonna keep one of my denim jackets in here because I need I might need it I'll put this tights over here right. now I'll put this in have it nice and organized put that in there my jacket as I said I might leave out because I might wear it on the plane this white jacket can go over here. I'm not gonna wear this today. So this can go over here. Get some of these. Yeah, this can go over here. Put this one right here for now. And this will go in my carry bag. I don't think I need this tonight, but I'm gonna put it in this bag anyway. This is my hip scarf. I don't think I need it. I think I might need the other one. I will need this for my edges, but I don't think I need the full head scarf for tonight. So this bag is almost finished packed. So underwear is in there. Um, all my clothes, all my shoes, all my stuff that I'm gonna sleep in, and I just need to put my toiletries really in the bag. I, don't know, I usually put my toiletries in my check luggage. I don't really put toiletries in my carry-on. Maybe I'll put my perfumes in here. In my carry-on, but that's about it. I don't even know if I'm going to use this. So, I'm only bringing... You know what? I think I might use the opportunity to use up most of my samples that I've had. So, I'll bring this Valentina sample. The Prada. The Victor and Ralph. Black opium. I'm probably gonna use up my samples on this trip. 
I'm still gonna bring one or two perfume though. Which one is this? Versace? I don't remember getting Versace. Oh, Versace was in there? Okay, let's have this too. Um, good girl. No. Burberry, yes. Like this. Gucci, yes. I can't believe I have, I still have another one of this. I haven't gone through all these. Yeah, I'm gonna use up my samples on this strip. Cause I have a ton. Mm. I'm definitely gonna bring my parfums the Marley. I'm trying to see if I can see how much how much is left. I'm bringing my parfums the Marley, and should I bring this? I don't know. Maybe have Prada in there. almost finished uh, so let's put all the perfumes Prada I'm keeping them in the paper thing so that I don't they don't you know, get messed up I'll just stick them to the side so that's what three six Seven. This one in there. Let me see if there's any other one that I wouldn't mind using. And I get like maybe one or two uses out of these. I'm gonna bring Parfums of Marley and I can't decide. I don't wanna bring the Valentino bottle. I already have it in there. Parfums of Marley and Prada. I'll bring the full size Prada. Or should I bring my Bacard Rouge? There's not a lot left in it. Just a little bit. I'm gonna bring it, why not? So, just these two, along with the samples. Yeah, I'll put these away. Don't need these. Pack my drawer later. The perfumes are in here. Deodorant in here. Um, Baby oil, I use this for my skin. So I don't want it to dry out. And some hand wipes. I think I might need the wipes. In my in my carry bag. Yeah. I'm gonna wipe down the plane. Well, when I'm sitting when I get on. I might need my mask as well. Keep a mask with me at all times. I'll stick it here. So I need to put lotion in here, which I'll carry my little jar of lotion. And the lotion deodorant baby oil perfume all in here so everything that goes on my body is in here now i have to do everything that's going to be on my face and makeup that's how i pack yeah i don't need, thank god i don't need to bring anything for here <laughs> my hair is done i might just need to bring my little edge control but i don't have to bring a lot of stuff for here thank god which is why i got my hair done so yeah, everything that i would put on my body is in here yeah um, so I'll keep this. I'll probably put my toothbrush, toothpaste in a plastic bag and put it inside here and keep this all on the plane. So I am on my way to my wax appointment and let me turn the camera around. This is where I get waxed at Wax For All. Sylvia so is really good and she's in there waiting for me. Yeah. So this is where she's at her business I've been coming to her for a few years and she's really amazing hi Sylvie I'm vlogging <laughs> this is inside how are you I know you got your little your, your eye surgery done right yeah so this is it and today I'm getting an underarm 
a Brazilian, a full leg wax. So <sighs> it's gonna be at least an hour of pain. <laughs> Okay guys, so I am on my way to get my nails done. I have to get in a wax. I have a 10.45 appointment. So I'm gonna go get that done and then head back home as soon as I can. Let's show you the place. This is where I'm going, Toy Spa. This is my place of choice all the time. I always come here. Hey guys, so I finally made it back inside after doing my nails. They're pretty, I got some a pink color. And I need to eat something. I have exactly an hour. I have exactly an hour to get out of here. An hour to call an Uber and or a lift. Well, a lift and go to the train station. So I have an hour and I have to still, I still have to finish packing a little bit, but I think I can get it done because I only need to put toiletries in the, in the suitcase. So I'll check back in a bit. Okay guys, so I am at the airport and I'm about to take the Metro Mover over to the terminal to check in. I wasn't able to check in online because I had a lot of issues last night trying to check in online i think we missed the, the metro mover that's here so we have to wait for the next one and i'm not wearing any makeup because i just want to go to sleep <laughs> so i did put any makeup on i'm tired i'm thirsty but yeah i'm at the airport So I'm like two hours, two hours and 20 minutes early, but it's not busy. It's a Wednesday. The airport is not busy. And um, yeah, the airport is not busy. It's a Wednesday. It's a holiday for some people. So the airport is not super busy. Let me show you. check in and hopefully I get a full road to myself <laughs> a girl can dream a girl can hope check in with world travel I guess I gotta go here 
Usually I just go to backdrop because I had so much issues. And I gotta go stand in line. But luckily there is no line. It's just one family in front of me. Just one family. There's nobody in line behind me. And it doesn't look like the checkpoint. Yeah, it doesn't look like checkpoint is busy either. So this is all I have. I'm checking in this one, and I'm bringing this these two on the plane. Let me get my passport in the meantime so I can have it ready and all my credentials and my passport <laughs> still have my Jamaican credentials here let me put this in the side I don't need that so I have both my passports and my global entry thingy so I can get um, TSA pre-check passport case I've had this since 2018 so what it says okay so I'm mixed up I'm mixed in line Oh, I have my global entry card if you need it. I can get you a window seat row 30, 38 is a window and upstairs 78K. So 30 downstairs. 30 downstairs or upstairs 78 k 78 k is all the way at the back, right? It's not all the way at the back, but it's like the last, it's right before you get to the last section in the back. And what about 38? 30 is, 30 is, you're at 27 now, so you just go three seats back, four seats back, three seats back. And is that to the back of the plane or no? <laughs> no? You, the back of the plane is row 36 to 40. And I would be at what, 27? I would be at 30. 30. 36 to 40. 36 to 42. And upstairs, the last row is what the row? I'm sorry. <laughs> so upstairs, mm -hmm. that's the last part of the plane. Yeah. The steps and everything. I have a seat right there that's the window. Is anyone sitting next to me? Yeah. Really. Downstairs, that's where you are now. Uh huh. Oh, I'm the aisle. Okay. I can get you there. Uh -huh. Someone is also sitting next to you, yeah. and that's the back of the plane. <gasps> Let me see if it's again. <laughs> so annoying. And you said I would be in 70. You'll be here. Um, I'll go to 30. You'll do the 30? Yes, thank you. Yep. Thank you, thank you.
Is it fight delay? Yes. She said start morning at 5.30 I'm like, the fight's supposed to leave at 5.20 How much delay do you know? We're leaving at 6.10 Okay guys, so I am checked in And my flight is delayed by I want to say maybe Almost an hour 50 minutes It's delayed by 50 minutes And I'm tired I can already see the bags under my eyes. I'm exhausted. But I'm gonna sit and have my tea before I go inside. I don't wanna throw away my tea. And since I don't need to be in there any that early, I wanna finish my tea first and then I go inside. So I have a my travel mug. Oh, it's my donut from Publix. I love these donuts. Let me put it right here. Stick it on my bed. I'm so tired. And my tea. I'm gonna have some tea. When I get inside, I'm gonna get a bottle of water. So yeah, tea. Get a bottle of water when I get inside. And um I don't know if I'll get something to eat because I usually don't eat on a flight. I'll eat the snacks that they give me, but not the food. Because I can't be bothered with TV dinners. Hmm. That's super hot. That's good. This container keeps my tea hot or warm for hours. So I'm going to drink all of my tea because I don't want to have guests. And then I'll go in and get a bottle of water from one of the convenience stores. So I'll check back in later. So I have to take a train to E24 <laughs> for my game. What time is it now? It is 3.56. So I have a little bit of time. We still got two hours before we take off. So I just went through security. And I'm gonna go over to E24 to go and sit and wait. I think I saw somebody with a Chick-fil-A cup and I'm going to ask him which <laughs> hopefully it's in this concourse that I'm in because I could really get some Chick-fil-A nuggets to bring on the plane with me. You can eat those at any time. The Chick fil A, where's the Chick fil A? Back there. Which do you know what specific concourse? Because I could go back it's there. It's in Terminal it. E by E5. E5? You have to go back on the train, get down, mm -hmm. um, go to inside of the terminal, mm -hmm. make a right, and then they're going to see it right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I have some time. I'm going to go back. Yeah. Thank you. It's right there in like three, four minutes. Okay, thanks. So I just got off the train and I'm going back because there's a Chick fil A over there. And there's not a lot of options over here, only Pizza Hut. So, I'm gonna go back and take the Mitchell Hoover. Next train is on this side. And we'll get some Chick fil A. <laughs> At least I'll have something to snack on on the plane. Yeah. So. Back on the train I go. I have two hours. Might as well use it. Okay, 
morning, so I am on my quest to find the Chick Fil A. <laughs> Let's turn the camera. He said it's by E5. So if you guys are ever in Miami Airport and you're trying to find the Chick Fil A, he says it's by E5, and that's where we're going. So guys, it is hidden. Let me show you. By Jackson Square, or Jackson, yeah, Jackson Square, the Chick-fil-A is right around here in the corner. You can barely see it. So, where we're going. So finally got my Chick-fil-A. I got a spicy sandwich and some nuggets. They gave me a bunch of Chick-fil-A sauce. So I'm about to dig in before my fries get cooled. So it's an hour before my flight. So I decided to come down stairs where we're boarding. I'm very tired. I hope I'll get to sleep a little bit in the plane. And I'm just gonna sit and wait until we start boarding. We should start boarding, I think, like 5.30. It's almost 5.15 now, so we will see if they start boarding our time. Oh. So we have started boarding. They are at group one. I'm in group eight. So I gotta sit and wait a little bit. So. I went ahead and put on my compression socks before I board the flight so I don't have to worry about doing it when I get on. Okay guys, so it's my time to board. And I'm boarding to 24. 